yourself. I am Teddy. And just in case you forgot, I'm Sir Anthony Hopkins. And this is Resident Evil Outbreak. Oh boy. Are we going to play in the multiplayer servers? Yeah, absolutely not. They're gone. So. Rest in peace. Never coming out. So I know that. Uh, sorry, there's a couple of scenarios here that we're already gone through. There's five scenarios in this game. First one's starting with Outbreak. And each each uh, scenario has its like canon person to play through. Yeah, there's only one scenario in the game that really doesn't have a can canon protagonist to it, but everything else is uh, pretty look much at set that up there. Smug motherfucker. So look here, we so we got Leon Kennedy. <laughs> um, we got uh, that black guy in every Coach. action movie. Coach from left. We got Dennis too. Rodman. Uh, prick asshole. Is that uh, the guy from Mario? Respected Zero? loner. Woman. I don't know. Woman. Woman. Okay. But yeah. No. Alright, so each of these characters kind of have like, their own thing with them. Uh, but most of them are pretty insignificant in the overall scheme of stuff. But the Asian chick does have a backpack, which gives you two inventory slots, which is nifty. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so the first for the first scenario for Outbreak, we're going to be playing as Cindy. She's actually the waitress of the bar that the scenario takes place at. Okay. okay. Her special ability is that she comes with a pack that carries herbs. So she can carry a ton of healing items. Really, really useful. Do you think the canon explanation is that's where she puts her tips? No. She just has a medicinal pouch on sure. hand. So yeah, Birkin Rats Resident Evil, Raccoon City. I think one thing that's 
everybody should notice that the director of Resident Evil Outbreak and Outbreak File 2 is the same as the director and producer for Resident Evil 6. I met the producer for 6. I have a signed poster, too. He's pretty awesome. He was nice. I'm not even exaggerating, that's the funny part. <laughs> there was a disruption earlier at today's football match between the Raccoon Sharks and the Old Court The Raccoon Sharks. Makes sense. The landlocks. They couldn't go the, the obvious route with the team name. The Raccoon City Raccoons. Sure. It's a little redundant. Huh? Do you think that rat has the G virus? T virus? T virus. Aren't you eating anything? This is the in game engine. Yep. Hey, Bob, where's your mind at? What? A pure huh? asshole. I'm gonna retire tomorrow. One more day. That's all he needed. <laughs> the death warrant in any movie. Oh, it's one of those Indians off the reservation. God. Huh? What a weird customer. Give him the stink eye. Is, yeah. is that a slot machine? Damn it. Uh, maybe a juice box? Are you all right? We'll have to look at it once the game starts and waste valuable time. What are you doing? I'm eating you. <laughs> oh, second time this week. God, tore up my jugular. Assholes. And there we go. The Resident Voyeur. Okay, something to keep in mind for Resident Evil Outbreak. All, Actually, just about every single one of the scenarios takes place before RE3 and 2. So this is all before uh, everything that happens with Leon and Jill. This is like at the immediate start of the outbreak. Also load times. Man, that took forever. Yes. Let's go find out what it was. Oh, they... It Slot is. machines, yeah! Awesome. I didn't know Fuck gambling you, was legalized in our reckon I like I like her thing here. It's Lil. He's bleeding a lot. I'll doubt he'll make it. Oh well. Goodbye, Will. Okay, so where's the little outbreak? Has a lot of events to it. So things that I do affect how the scenario plays out. For example, pushing this barrel right in front of the door. I actually you change you a cutscene. Now every character has four slots that they can carry stuff with, uh, but some characters have a few extra things that they can do. Cindy, for example, doesn't have to carry her herbs on her inventory because she can just carry them in her little pack. But then you still gotta go in there to pick them out. Yes. And the, the game doesn't pause when you uh, press start, so. Indeed. Now in single player, our AI partners kind of do their own thing. But the AI actually has set patterns depending on which character they are. For example, Kevin is pretty cooperative and he'll help out a lot. Yoko, if she's your AI partner, will just kind of run off by herself. Uh, other characters do stuff like that. What a jerk. Player manual. Nope. I'll read it later. Now every character can use a gun and everything, so that's whatever. Oh, um, don't forget how... Wait, is that the second floor? What's up? How's that zombie up there? I don't know. Now, if I didn't block this with the barrel, they would just bust right through the door and do whatever. But now you get to watch them dogpile. Yes, and it does it, it does extend the amount of time it takes for the zombies to break in. On higher difficulties, it's less time. Generally, that's the same thing for every higher difficulty. Items are placed in different places, and cutscenes take uh, less time to happen. Okay. Which usually trigger an event. For example, Will gets his face bitten off here. No! Sorry, buddy. He shouldn't have been sitting around. Oh, retard. Zombie rule 101. Well, class, school, lesson. Go for higher ground. <laughs> like a treehouse. Now, right now, our objective is just fucking run. But, uh... I don't know. They seem like they're going, like, the wrong way. <laughs> you could say that. But, I mean, you don't know what this building's like, so... This building's, like, three stories high. Consider it insider knowledge. Besides, there's always fire escapes. Of course. Not like a zombie can use a ladder either. Oh, he's okay. RPD. Okay. Okay, so. And he kind of has the same like oh, battle armor Leon does. Yeah, he's definitely reminiscent of Leon. Actually, Kevin's bio states that he would tried out for stars and was rejected twice. Oh, suck it! You're too good for stars, probably. Pretty much. Um, Loading time. 
Yeah, I don't think there's too much in here. Just hanging around. That's good. Oh, hello. Oh. Thankfully, it doesn't take much to kill zombies in this. Hang on, bullets. Definitely worth it. Where was that guy? Uh, some of the zombies just happen to appear. Honestly, oh. if you go Spooky. through a, if you go through a door, they might just follow you for some reason. But even in cases where they can't possibly follow you, for example, I'll show you in just a second. Um, in this next room here, we're gonna we're gonna make another blockade. Was that a zombie? Yeah. Okay. So go. those boards over there. I can actually use this nail gun to set them up. And that's what I'm gonna do. Except there's somebody over there. Come on. Yeah. There we go. I'm such a team player. If only this were online, you could troll people. Oh yeah, it's it's so easy to troll people in this game online. Or was. Sadly, a lot of people took the game pretty seriously, so... <laughs> I don't know. You'd, you'd be like the only troll there was. It's not like they could talk to you, though. That too. Also, friendly fire used to be on a lot for default on every oh, they game. Had, they had friendly fire? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that was fun. That sounds like a clusterfuck. Yeah, it was a clusterfuck. But a lot of the games were really fun. So Nice place for a dartboard. Get one right. right in that electrical wiring. Yep. So we actually have to pick up this because there's a key hidden under it. Now the newspaper you can actually use to make a Molotov cocktail if you're playing as another character, uh, David, who can craft items out of multiple items. Because that's so out of the box Molotov. thinking that only what one person be able to do that. Yeah, basically. He actually comes with duct tape. I think five rolls and that's what really allows him to just do all the shit that he does. Does that get its own slot? Yes, but it's his own thing. Just kind of like uh, Cindy's uh, herb. Okay. Just want to make sure it's not like one of your four slots. No, that'd be ridiculous. Actually, maybe it is. Fuck, I don't know. I haven't played in a long time. This drawer is locked, so I can't get in there. Um, there is a character that comes with a lockpick, and that is Alyssa. Why the fuck? Nice. I don't know why there's a zombie out there, but there's no reason to go out, because there's nothing else out there. Well, you went out to get attacked, apparently. Yeah, I know, right? I like how that room was really reminiscent of like something you'd find in a mansion. Yeah. Aquarium, books. There's some weird shit in this game. Are there any torture dungeons? Uh, not that I know of. Uh, Why is there a zombie here? This game sucks. No continuity. Clearly. This is actually one of the few games where zombies don't grab you constantly. They, they do grab you, but their default attack is just they swipe at you in the air and they hit you. That's really it. A little wussy slot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mark. Cursing. Did you find anything? Let's see, look at that. Raccoon City. Raccoon. So. We're hanging around. One other thing to keep in mind with Outbreak is that it's a game that has ad living, which isn't so much useful because you can just spam stuff and tell people to come over and do stupid shit. Which is what I'll be doing when we play. Yep. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know. Don't care. Are we gonna read it? No. But what about the lore? Lore sucks. What about that zombie that's coming in? Yeah, it's kinda bad. Coach is bad. The zombies don't take much to kill in easy mode, so, whatever. Are we on normal? Yes. Or, we're on normal. I said easy, didn't I? Stupid. Yeah. Don't confuse Normal people. is pretty easy. <laughs> you know what we could do is start it on, nor easy, uh, start it on normal, and then load it and then just have it play with easy, and people will never know and think we're badass. Yeah, that's true. Alright. Well, anyways, I have the key to go on, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. You should do some ad living. Here! No. Come on! No, I'm gonna stay down here and come die. On. Team, please. Here. Team, please follow. Team, come towards me. Alright. Coach. So now this is the third floor, and it's a gigantic fucking liquor, or liqueur room. Liqueur? So I was gonna say liquor, but then people might get confused with liquors. <laughs> get out. They can they can read it right no, there. They don't. they don't. No, they can't read. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this is where. Should this be in the cellar? <laughs> that would make sense, right? No wonder this place is going under. This they is one of the few places where uh, the game starts to and do some different stuff because this key. It? is not always in this room. That key can be actually in the owner's room where we went to before, depending on which difficulty you're on. 
Well, that's just good multiplayer design. You can't keep it the same every single time you play them. Well, it depends on the difficulty. Oh, never so mind. So if you're on right? hard or very hard, it could be in the owner's room. They should have had that to be randomly all over the place. It does happen, but not often. Anyways, I think those zombies broke through the uh, cardboard or the. Oh, what the fuck just happened there? Yeah, so the zombies are are busting through, and the zombies will follow you room to room. Why is there a forklift on the third floor? That's a great question. Regardless, I'm starting it, and it's the way that we need to go. This seems like really bizarre for some reason. Uh -huh. Well, Come not on. for some reason. It's the yes. fact there's a warehouse on the third floor. Yep. It's very strange. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We have to go. No way. Thank you. Help me! Come on! Good. God forbid you just climb up those barrels, dude. Never go. Yeah. I, Here. It's kind of a thing. It's okay. Now, one thing we can do in this scenario is Bob, who was uh, that guy uh, that we saw earlier. You can actually bring him with you. Oh, the injured guy? Yes. But he obviously can't climb that ladder, so what you have to do is once you get into here, um, there's actually a shutter that you can open. It's all the way down there at the bottom, and then oh, you God. go back in and bring him back. Um, Why didn't you save him? Fuck that. Do you get more points or something? It gives you a special scene if you're playing as Mark. Otherwise, you're not playing as Mark. Which so one is Mark? Doesn't. Mark is the black guy. Oh, okay. I'm going to reload my gun here. Now, it actually does make a pretty realistic... Uh, change of pace because previous Resident Evil games you'd always just load a clip and you'd be all set. Well, you get a box of handgun bullets so you gotta do it manually. I like that though. It's a nice touch. And, to add on to that, you can find clips which immediately allow you to reload. So, you get a quick reload with them. Not the greatest thing in the world but it is something different. Uh, also, crows are really fucking annoying in this. Uh -huh. I picked up another key on our way up here, and it brings us into the storage room. Uh, if we were bringing Bob with us, the white guy who was pretty much dead as shit down there, this is where we drop him off and continue on. But so, do you recall him. what happens with that scene? Uh, he shoots himself because he's turning into a zombie. Oh. Well. So here's a clip. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. No shit, there's nothing on that goddamn shelf. Did you find anything? Um, I think also there's something. Oh, they just took it. Okay, cool. A deserted broken doll? Yeah. That's one of those special items, right? There are special items in this game, and you pick them up with your characters um, that add on to your completion score. Uh, and depending on which character you are, you may get special items. Or if you're not certain people, you'll need special items. <laughs> Well, not special, but... This guy's not dead. Plot items. Now he's dead. Oh, really, guys? Yeah, why three, not? Three bullets. So if this is your first time playing, you might not realize what the hell to do here. You have to shoulder ram or hit this uh, place over here. There we go. You can also use melee weapons to open it up. I really would not understand that. Let me just alert the rise the in progress. Please proceed to this checkpoint immediately. If you do not leave the area in time, what kind of megaphone handle is that? A very strange looking one. Those megaphones have like three pixels to them. <laughs> hey man, they're too busy making the rest of the game look good. I guess so. Also, thank God we're back to a normal resolution for a game. 720p. God. Glorious. Well, I mean, that's only because of the PS3, so... Look! I guess. So now we got three minutes to get across this area here um, on higher difficulties. It's a short amount of time. You have to time your jumps here. Could you die right here? If you don't have a teammate, yeah. Wow, fuck you, Mark. See? Oh shit. Team. Help me. 
say, now if you call help, they'll come over and help you. Hooray. For a second, I was, I wor I was worried because it'd be like Left 4 Dead 2 AI where they just leave you. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right. Time oh, to make our break. One thing to note with Kevin, who is one of the guys that we have with us right now, he has a gun to start with. Oh, okay. So he actually has a 45 Colt. Um, he uses its own special ammo. Doesn't use handgun ammo. So I mean, does he just run out of ammo? Usually? Yeah, he usually just runs out of ammo with it, and uh, that's usually pretty much it. Take the stairs, you bum. You actually can't. The, the emergency uh, stairs don't is, work. Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. Nice. It's totally not against regulation. It reminds me of a scene in Clock Tower where it's wow. like Here's what I the uh, fire escape lock is locked. Oh, stop shooting them. God, dumbass AI. Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry. They want to kill the zombie and save themselves. Screw that. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, they don't have the, the, what's it called, the ability to teleport. <laughs> I don't have the well, ability to teleport either. They don't recognize the ability that they teleport as soon as you go through the door. Wasn't that street clear a second ago? Yep. You startled me. I'm surprised you're still alive. The whole city's a war zone. We need all the help we what? can get. Now, move the police <laughs> car over there to build a barricade. Hey, dude. Go! gotta shoot these rioters just <laughs> i love how he's just like oh you i need your help out of everyone else here fuck you maybe because we're not running around screaming yeah and we have guns and we have a cop so this fella i forget his name you can play as him as a different skin um he carries our team on his back pretty much the whole time mean, uh with more people i can push this car faster Get the fuck out of the way, zombies. There's another one there. I know. God. There Imagine we go. a world where the car would just go over the zombie and kill it. Imagine a world where I didn't have horrible AI teammates. Well, at least I guess going. they're just gonna fucking ignore me. That's cool. I don't care. Hey, it works for us. It works for me. Alright, there uh, we go. So you actually don't have to build a barricade, but it definitely helps. And over here is... A trunk. Which has a shotgun. Oh, that too. Very useful. Very powerful. Am I seeing the guns firing and just not hearing it? I'm hearing them. Oh, there's an item back here. What's that? A map. Great. I really need that. Oh, I see. It's in my right ear. Okay, Damn. guys. Good job. You really cleaned up the town there. I don't know if we can open up the trunk here or not. Hey! You can push it though. What now? Is there any reason? So no no no. The, the idea is you push it this way. Oh, you keep making more and more. Barricades. Yeah, you make barricades. It does help. It stops the zombies from coming through, more or less. If my teammates could do anything, that would be great. This is ridiculous. Hey. Oh, thank you, AI. Surgical with that shotgun. Seriously. Wow, he just tried to kick the gun out of the cop's hands. And he's trying to shoot you. Yep. Alright, so once we sealed up all that shit, uh, we can actually go through to the next area. Oh god, they're getting closer. We gotta go, now! This, this For a guy. second I thought he was locking it. <laughs> You'll never escape. Come on, we gotta go. But officer, come on, go through the door. Phase through it. Hey man, mental illness is not a funny thing. So once that cutscene happens, we automatically go through here, and zombies keep falling behind us. Health sprays affect your score? No. So I don't believe so, because I have so many herbs, there's no point. Thanks, team. Team? Team's not helping very much, so we have to break through this door here. Either let the AI do it, or we can cover him and kill the zombies, which I'm going to do. It's like they didn't play test this, they'd be like, oh, your AI does not help. Can he die here? I don't believe so. But I could be wrong. I've never seen it. Well, let's not find out. So 
what's that meter down there? So that meter is my viral gauge. Is Depending on how many times I'm attacked, the higher my meter goes. It rises consistently throughout the game, or the scenario that we're in. Ooh, Ness is Kevin. Uh, the meter rises throughout the scenario, and once it reaches 100, you become a zombie. If you're playing with other people, you can attack them, and you control your zombie self. No, oh, you do. That's cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Um, but if you are playing multiplayer, or single player, you just lose. Hey, listen. You should go it's kind of shame. That'd be nice if we carried over. Should have paid attention there, buddy. That's a fuel tank. Leak the gas and use it to burn these bastards. Arkham City's finest. Thanks, team. Really helping out there. They should include your teammates in the cinematic, because it'd be just like the game play. <laughs> it would. <laughs> Alright, so our ne next objective is to just escape here. Um, we don't have to use this tanker. But I will. Does it help your completion score? Yes, it does. Okay. And it also helps clean up the zombies behind us and make this a little bit easier. Just use your shotgun ammo. No need. I need your help. Come on. Can Kevin like pick that up? There you go. Did you grab the shotgun? I wanted him to. But he didn't. Oh well. Well, we got the lighter, and that's all that we really need. Wow, Mark, that's really smart. Run right into that zombie. Old valve nice, handle. Nice action stance there. Yeah, dude, he knows what he's doing. Is that water? Yes. Very flammable water. Oh, okay. It's like fire water the Greeks made. <laughs> I, th I think one thing that's important to note in this game, shotguns, really not that good. Really? They're just not that great. So why don't you use all the ammo up on it? Dangerous to use the lighter here. Fuck you. He's right. Do you want to be standing on top of the flammable substance while you light it? Mark is. Oh, well, he's dead. Rest in peace, Mark. I like what you did mention a while back when we played this. It's like the first time where this fire actually kills zombies. <laughs> Every other fucking game, the zombies just on fire and they just don't care. Resident Evil 3, they just come out of that like that wreck of the the cable car. <laughs> They're just like, whatever, we don't care. We're on fire. <laughs> it's like I'm pretty close. sure you. Well, I mean, you no. can move around, but it's not like you're gonna be like, oh, no I'm way. gonna chase you. No. Yeah. And into the water we go. Man, should we just discuss the physiology of zombies being on fire? Sure. It doesn't matter, because this happens. Yeah. So if you are up there when this happens, you're dead. The cutscene happens immediately once your whole team jumps into the water. Or you take too long. Or if you take too long and you're still up there, you're fucking dead. You don't get to be a flaming zombie and chase your teammates? No. Imagine, though. Can you imagine, though? Not bad. Come on, do some ad living. Go! Good. Go! They're nice. Thanks. Say their names, come on. No. I don't even remember their names. Oh, watch out for those rat kings. 